or I don't know what you mean by act. You sound you sound like you're mad at me, and I'm I'm not sure if I know why. Help me out. No, I'm not mad at all, brother. It takes a lot to get me mad. You sound like uh, you, but uh, for I'm just asking you straight, honest questions. I, uh, if you want to do business with me or not, uh, it's you must have called for a reason. Why don't you just be honest and tell me what it is? I'm not being dishonest. Yeah, you are. You're be, you're being what we call obfuscating. You're changing the subject. Or you're not answering a straightforward question. I, I'll be as deadly honest as you want me to be. I just want to know why you're calling. I watched your video where you... You said that. I watched your video where you talk about... Uh, let's see. Actually, it's up on the screen here. Uh, you, were actually, you thought you were talking to a live person, but you were actually talking to an automated response system. I had a torture of a telemarketer. Did you enjoy that video? Well, I thought it was humorous because you thought you were talking to a live person and it was really a... No, I think you're making an assumption there. I was, I knew it was a, I knew it was a robocall. I was just having a lot of fun with it. It wasn't a robocall uh, system. I mean, it, they, yeah, they automated, they automated the, the dialing, but you weren't actually talking to a live person. You were talking to an AI. Yeah, somebody, yeah, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. So um, you sound like a pretty sharp guy, a very, uh, Aggressive guy, very successful guy. Why are you calling me today? Do you not feel like you're worthy of a call? Uh, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, I'm always worthy of a call, but what's the point? Here, wait, wait, wait. I was still finishing. What's the point of this call? That's I've asked you three times already. Just be honest. Does this routine usually work for you, Claude? It's not a routine. It's being honest. See. You may you have a different style of communicating. I'm very straightforward and honest with people, and you're and you're obfuscating. All I want to know is you. My gut instinct is that you can't answer a straightforward question because there's something else going on. You probably want to sell me something. I told you in the very beginning of the call that I might want to sell you something. You said might. Why can't you just say I want to sell you something and get to the point? Because I don't know that we're a good fit. We probably aren't at this point. Well, I don't care who's blind. I'm not putting a finger on it or anything, but I'm not, I don't see a point to this phone call. I, I just don't see it. I don't see an end result. Of it. See, what I see at this point is that we're not going to do business and all I'm having is a little fun here right now. Okay. Well, Paul, you called me and punched the number. No, you called me and I got back to you. Okay, fair enough. But you punched the number saying that it was urgent that I respond back to you. That's right. That's the way I always, that's the way I get return phone calls. Um, I, was it today? I think it was this morning. It was several hours. So that doesn't work on me. Is the point that I'm what do you mean? Uh, well, then why did you call me back? Because I call everyone back who calls me. I'm, say, I'm the same way. So um, in the next, uh, could you, could you, in the next 30 to 60 seconds, could you cut to the chase and tell me what this is about? Or should we say goodbye at this point? Can you turn a backflip and land on your head and stand on your left foot until I tell you to stop? I don't know what that means. I think we should just call it a day. I think it's over. What don't you? Wow, it doesn't have to be closed. No, I just don't see a point to it. It's uh, we're going back and forth. You won't answer my questions, and you got your cute little answers and everything, and it, it, it just not. <laughs> this is exactly what I teach. How I teach people not to sell. Well, then you must not be very good at it. No, I'm very good at it. Do your homework on me. I'm pretty good. I'm very good at what I do. Hey, listen, you're a good guy. I wish you well. I wish you a happy new year. I don't see any point, but you have a good day, okay? You're very argumentative. You think you're controlling me. You sound mad again. You see, look, you're being mad again. I'm smiling and you're mad because I'm rejecting you. Yeah. No, no, you're mad. You're mad because I'm telling the truth and you can't stand it. Listen, you have a good day. I don't see any point to this anymore, but you, you take care. Bye bye, buddy. Yeah, mental health. Now we attack me. <laughs> have a good have a good day, buddy. Well, I don't think I need help with anything. I think you need help because you're desperate. Yeah, you are. You got. You are. You've got a. You got a lot of self-esteem issues, though. But you work on it, and things will turn your way. Hey, listen. Okay. Take care. God bless. Uh, bye, bye. And you get people like this sometimes on a phone. And this was a classic example of a guy who just wanted to bust my lower reproductive organs. If you know what I mean. 
he would never answer a question honestly. He all had these cute little metaphors. He went back and was, this is the kind of sales guy I hate. This is the what turns off people so much. He, I think he wanted to sell me something, he had a program or something like that, but he couldn't be honest. He couldn't do an honest, direct dialogue with me. Sell me what you're selling. Tell me what you want from me. I don't mind. I really don't. I'm the easiest, what do I always say? I'm the easiest guy in the world to sell, but nobody knows how to sell me. Don't, just tell the truth. Say, Claude, the reason I called you is I have this program. It might solve this problem or that problem with you. But instead, he was playing these little salesy games. And they really, and I really tried hard not to get emotional. Did you see that? You know how I always say that um, people make decisions emotionally. And that's how you sell with the gut sales method. But sometimes if you get emotional, I could have gotten lost. I think about 15, 20 years ago, I probably would have lost my temper with this guy. Okay, but I didn't do this. I was just trying to have fun. I was trying to be as deadly honest as I could with the guy. And, and he was just playing these manipulative little silly games. This is a guy who doesn't make any money. Because if you're just getting on the phone, trying to manipulate or piss off people all day long, no good will come from this. The good that came from this is that I hit the record button, which is wonderful, so I can share this. I love sharing live calls with you guys. And this is kind of a negative call. Um, I could share other calls with you when I have permission. He called me. Um, so this is a unilateral uh, accepted state. So I can take this um, phone call. And the thing about it is, what a horrible way to sell people. And be, he was just trying to, I think he was trying to stroke his own ego and say, well, I'll show this guy. I know he's a sales trainer. The only thing he did was just aggravate himself. If you watched me on the video, I was smiling. I was having a lot of fun because I knew what he was doing. I knew he was disingenuous. I knew he was manipulative. What a bad way to sell. And the worst sin of all, you don't make any money when you sell like that. I talk to wonderful people all day long. I make money every, um, just about every day, uh, by word of honor. Um, and the thing is, I don't have to speak to people like that. I would not insult somebody like that. Uh, I will be very direct. I will be assertive, but not a bully. This was kind of a bully, if you think about it, wasn't it? it was, I'm so glad I recorded this because this is the worst way to sell. This is the most aggressive way to sell. And I wouldn't fall, if you listen carefully, I'm going to listen to this again myself. I didn't fall into his traps, you know? And he said, well, you're trying to be assertive and everything. Well, I just wanted to get to the point. Time is money. We only have a small... We have a short window of time on this planet. And I want to sell products and services that help people that I'm passionate about, that I believe in. I want to go to the bank. I want to take care of my responsibilities, my family. This is the kind of guy, years ago, I would sell to these kind of guys. I'd let them manipulate me. I'd be on the phone for 45 minutes. I don't think I was, I was probably about two minutes too long. Uh, with this guy, but I that I knew I was recording and I thought it would be great to share with you guys. So anyway, I hope this helps uh, you. You don't have to sound like this on the phone. I talk to wonderful people. We have great conversations. Even I don't sell everybody. And when people say no to me, I respect that or they don't have the money and we can't work out financing. That's fine. But you can have great conversations. You don't have to do the intellectual gobbledygook. You don't have to do the manipulative, tricky stuff. You don't have to be the bully in the room. You just have to go to people and say, what's, what's your challenge? Why are we talking? What is your biggest problem? And um, if they have a problem that's great enough, painful enough, and your product or service gives them resolution, and you had an honest dialogue. This was not a, I was trying to have an honest dialogue, and you notice he never answered straight. This was great. I was so, I'm really glad I could share this with you guys because nobody deserves success more than you. I'm glad they slid that in. My name is Claude Diamond. And um, I think sales is the million dollar skill. I have a free book on my webpage, claudediamond.com. I do answer my own phone. Well, try me out someday, 970-281-5151. Um, call me up if I can help you, great. And um, you guys take care. Thanks for, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.